for this incredible illuminated time in the lunar phases full moon is all about really revealing what we've been hiding in the shadows perhaps we've been ignoring it suppressing it saving it for a later date and this is the time where it'll come to the surface because it's literally being lit right under a microscope under a spotlight and there's nothing for you to do except witness it and you know whether it freaks you out whether you go to old behaviors to try and numb it to try and tap out of it this is such an awesome opportunity every single month for you to get radically fucking honest about what's no longer working and where you can pivot to come back from straying for your alignment and return to that sacred space of being home so i hope this reading really lands with you today in that intention of landing home in you that's definitely been my experience in the lead up to this full moon being totally shaken and stirred and oof, like the dust is settling and i'm landed and so that is my intention for every one of you to be really in your body for this particular time so that you can hear the intuitive little nudges and niggles that make themselves known to you okay so let's get into it this week's oracle guidance under the full moon we're going to be using the starseed oracle next week i'm going to play with a different deck i'm staying here with my friend who has a beautiful array of decks and i would love to test and try a few more out but for now and today we're going to go with the star seeds to offer up a much higher perspective to what we're experiencing on a very <sighs> human as fuck level am i right who resonates with feeling super human as fuck right now not super human but very human as fuck Tell me in the comment box below what this full moon is revealing for you so far. As I attune and connect to the energy of anybody that's watching live right now, anybody that will watch ever, to really deliver a message that will serve them at the highest capacity. And through my words, may I offer a vibrational signature of a homecoming to self. So that any fragmented parts of ourselves laying across different timelines, future, past, can be called back now into wholeness, into the here and now. During this process, I like to connect to my cosmic council, as Rebecca Campbell calls it, which is actually the author of these cards. And it's much easier for me to do that with my eyes closed because it closes down a lot of the extrasensory information, you know, that we are receiving through sight. But it also heightens our other senses to become really tuned in, tapped in, turned on to pick up those signals that are always with us, that are always there. The guidance is always there, ready and willing to enter into you as long as you make space and availability for it to arrive. So let's do that together now, making space in our systems for any wisdom that wants to come through for this particular time, for each of us to hear it, that will serve us at the highest level. What is our intention for the coming week? What is the energetic archetype of the coming week? And how can we ah, really honor and come into integrity with that archetype? Okay. Ooh, this is a good one. We have pulled the card cracked open. So first of all, before we even get into the language, the words on it, just tune into how the image makes you feel. This revealing, right? Cracked open is something that a lot of us tend to avoid because it's really scary to change. It's really scary to let our identity 
crack, right? We, we work so hard at keeping all of those gaps and inconsistencies with, with ourselves hidden and secret. You know, our flaws, our insecurities, all of these parts of ourselves that show the most raw form of us, our hurt, our pain, our dreams, our lust, all of these parts that we typically have lots of shame around because they are so human that we build this exterior skin suit, energy suit, and we block anybody really seeing us. This is such a theme that I see with a lot of my clients. They want to become more visible. They want to be seen. And that's what we're all really here for, right? Is to be deeply seen so that we can belong with others. But it is ourselves that keep that protective suit and that mechanism so strong so that nobody can get through it. So when we see an image like this, with the invitation to crack open and let that identity start to crumble, it can feel really intense. Is anybody going through this right now where if, you know, you've had a particular style, you know, how you dress, how you do your hair, how you use words, um, you know, the roles that you play, the daughter, the mother, the wife, the husband, the boyfriend, the colleague, the roles that you play are not the true essence of who you are. And so when we are invited into being cracked open. It's to surrender everything that is untruth, right? And really reveal the essence of who you really are. The soul stuff, the human stuff. This is why it's so um, confronting to have an ego death. If any of you have ever sat a plant medicine ceremony, even if you've sat with me in cacao ceremony, this can happen. It activates this part of you that has to truly let go of everything that you have known, everything that you have built yourself up to be. You know, this is like where the midlife crisis phrase comes from. We're so afraid of letting go and shedding skin. But what does the snake and the serpent teach us? That we are in a constant becoming. We're in a constant slithery dance of evolution and yet humans in their ego mind want to just stay in the one suit and it gets tighter and tighter and tighter because we're growing and we're evolving and we're getting bigger but we refuse to shed the layer that so badly wants to die so my invitation to you I haven't even looked at the words just yet is what are you willing to let die in yourself this full moon full moon is all about release surrender purging offering up can you offer up to the light of this moon in the fiery as fuck Leo season the part of you that is willing to die? Or if that feels way too for you, can you be willing to be willing to let go and allow that process to start to happen in a more gentle way? Identity death, ego death, taking off the protective layers, it confronts our ego mind because that's what it's holding on to for dear life as how we operate in the world. But the beauty of, of life, the joy, the expansion, the alignment, the abundance, the pleasure, all of that happens when we are stripped bare. Think about your most favorite memories, you know, a lot of them are connection, fun, nude swimming, fire, fires under the stars, or riding on a roller coaster and just letting yourself laugh, letting yourself be really seen in your true essence, which is joy, right? And our protective ne mechanisms keep us closed down to that joy because we want to stay stuck in a way that we think is keeping us safe, but really it's unsafe because we're missing out and we're pushing away all of the potential that is right there ready for us. I'm just going to quickly read some of these comments so that I can see where you guys are at. Oh, yes. Cracked open like poetry. It's exactly right. If you're a creative, you understand what that means to let go of your ego because you cannot be in ego mind and also create art. You have to surrender trying to figure it out for the poem to flow through, for the painting to come out right? Every time you enter back into your logical mind, you switch hemispheres in your brain and you lose the magic. So I love that you shared that. Thank you so much. Resistance to truth. 
the only thing we can do in this time, yes, thank you, Zoe, is trust. Everything that we think has been safe and secure is showing us, is revealing us, like the full moon is doing for us on, a, on an emotional level right now, that it is not safe. It's just a fucking illusion that we've been conditioned to believe. If things are changing at such a rapid pace, the only constant is change. And yet we spend so much energy trying to control the outcome, trying to focus on things that might not ever happen. And we put so much of our mental energy and creative force, right, goes to this potential future, this potential anxiety. And for those of you that are, understand conscious creation and you know that's such a core part of my work, we are then feeding into attracting the very thing that we don't want. So how can we reclaim all of that energy and use it to just be in your essence, be in truth, be in alignment. So many of us want to have a big transformation, but we're not willing to change. Does anybody resonate with that? They're like, I want my life to change. I want my life to change. I want my life to change, but I'm not willing to change. I'm not willing to do anything different. I'm willing to hold on to this thing and that thing because it's ma it makes me who I am. But who you innately are is not the skin suit or the protective layer. It's the light inside. And I know each of you have had a glimpse, maybe extended periods of time where you have been in communion with that truest essence of self. And you're right. Again, the only thing we can do right now is to trust that de-layering process to reveal the new human that is required to exist in this time because how we've operated obviously doesn't work it's like the whole planet is trying to shake us up and be like yo you need to let go of some shit and reveal this emerge as a new human that gets it because this isn't working mm, yes Okay, so the subheading to this card is actually rock bottom Ooh. and surrender to the alchemy of life. Ah, surrender to the alchemy of life. Alchemy is the process of transmuting one thing into another. And this is what we want when we say, I want to change. I want to transmute this body into a healthier body. I want to transmute my current bank account to a more busting bank account. I want to transmute this career that I don't like to a thriving business, right? But the step in between that we miss is that we have to completely shed the identity that we have created to thrive. I am not using that word correctly. Um, to show up in as this cannot be the same one that does this, right? You have to be willing to constantly have identity deaths if you want real evolution in this lifetime, if you want real alignment. This image, I can't think of anything better to remind you that the inside is what is unchangeable. It's actually not even inside you, it's everywhere. If I was to, you know, oh, hold on. Hmm. If you feel like you're at a rock bottom in your personal life, whether that's relationships, finance, home, being stuck somewhere at this time, this full moon and this oracle is inviting you to drop the idea of where you thought you should be and what should be happening into complete surrender of what is. The liberation that is available for you there is boundless, infinite. It's available energetic resources that you can then welcome into your field to be the alchemist of your life situation. This requires saying no, leaving, staying, dropping Dropping the control, um, releasing a timeline, releasing urgency. What I would find the most helpful for everybody this week is at some point to get out underneath the stars and to look up 
and remember what you really are. And if you can get a felt sense, even for a split second, of that remembrance of what you really are, you will be so much more willing to shed the snake skin and emerge as the alchemist. Yeah. Mm. I feel that so deeply and I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. We're all with you. The whole planet is with you. The whole planet is at a rock bottom of sorts. So let's use that. It, there, there literally cannot be a better time to surrender to the alchemy of life. So let's do it together. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. It's such a joy. I'd love to know how this landed for you. So make sure if I um, post it on my Instagram feed, it will definitely be up on YouTube to leave a comment and, and let me know what unravels for you over the next week. And yeah, just... Mm, mm. Let yourself crack open just for the fucking fun of it and see what happens. <laughs> it is really fun. Okay. Love you so much, gorgeous humans. Have an incredible rest of your day and week. Happy full moon. <laughs> Thank you, Kaylee.